BSc Statistics student. In this class, I explained method of curve fitting by principle of least squares. This is what one such a very um, popular and most useful method of obtaining the trend. Trend means long term fluctuations in a time series data. So, of a time series data, if you consider, if you consider a time series data, then to identify the long term fluctuations, long term variations or a secular trend or trend simply, this method is most popular. It is most useful because of two particular reasons I uh, specify directly, two particular reasons. One, the graphical, it is, uh, uh, it can be represented by using graph. That is graphical representation is, uh, uh, it can be done in this particular method. Is going to be, a, uh, it can be used in the graphic, by, by the way of graphical representation. This, uh, uh, the data can be represented in this method, right? So, that is the reason why graphical uh, representation which provides you the uh, future values, future or predicted or uh, estimated uh, uh, prediction or estimated future uh, values are going to be estimated uh, in this through this particular method. So, that is the reason why it is most popular method. What we do is by using principle of least squares, uh, we fit f one particular functional mathematical relationship. We have time we fit a functional mathematical relationship maybe in any particular form for example a strike line or a parabola k degree polynomial exponential curve power curve growth curves all right modified exponential curve you see you can observe here some of the growth curves modified exponential curve compact curve and logistic curve etc many number of uh, um, curves are going to be represented here we can use any one part any particular one mathematical relationship which is most suitable to the data. Why we are using many number of uh, uh, curves here, many number of curves here, functional mathematical relationship existed here. Because to apply the data, to apply uh, these functional, math, uh, functional mathematical relationships uh, which are suitable for the data, that is uh, going to be considered which are going to be considered. So, that is the reason why many number of curves are going to be existed. So, and uh, one more particular point is, uh, this method is uh, best method for forecasting or estimating the future values in any particular time series data. So, that is the reason why also this is one of the most popular method. Uh, hope you understand. I uh, will uh, I'll, I'll tell you how the strike line is going to be used. Uh, some of the curves I discussed here. First of all, I discuss uh, principle of least squares. You see, this is the principle of least squares. Uh, the principle of least squares is minimizing the sum of the squares of the deviations between actual values and their estimated values. This was this one we have discussed the um, many number of times. So, so therefore, principle of least squares, uh, uh, which minimizes the error, minimize error. Error means uh, it's a uh, deviation from between the actual values to the estimated values. Right, so this particular component is going to be that the error component is going to be minimized by the very for the variations in the parameters. Here are uh, some parameters which will be presented in the any particular uh, uh, functional mathematical relationship. So I I discuss uh, you know, strike line. For example, <clears throat> if you consider a strike line, you see this is what the procedure of a strike line. There are many number of curves. Uh, many number of functional mathematical relationships, maybe curve or a strike line, right? Like here you see, in the fitting of a strike line. So, if you follow this method, any method is going to be calculated or uh, uh, described in the same fashion. You please kindly follow the strike line. Already, this is a method we have already discussed. So, therefore, uh, what I consider, so I explain strike line. Let uh, yt is the value of the variable at the time period t and uh, mm, suppose the straight line, it is going to be considered as yt is equal to a plus bt. t is the time period and yt is the value. In which uh, if you consider this is the straight line, then the parameters uh, a and b are to be calculated, which are to be calculated. Uh, how to estimate these values? This method explains. You see, this is what error, 
because already we have discussed that therefore i am uh, shorting the points you see just i am explaining uh, the crux right e, e is equal to summation yt minus a plus bt the whole square by using the principle of least squares this error is going to be minimized for the variations in the parameters a and b so therefore we have to determine the values a and b by using principle of maxima and minima and by using the principle of least squares um, taking the partial differentiation with respect to a do e by do a is equal to 0 you will get this equation summation y t is equal to n a plus b summation t similarly do e by taking the second uh, differentiation do e by do b is equal to 0 uh, and uh, mm, uh, we will get this particular equation summation t into y t plus a into summation t plus b summation t square this is these are the two are called normal equations one two right so these two equations are called normal equations and by solving these two normal equations we get we can obtain the values of a and b that is called estimated values of a and b the parameters are going to be estimated with the help of the given data so this is what the procedure of uh, a straight line hope you understand this is what the procedure of a straight line fitting of a straight line similarly remaining any particular any kind of functional mathematical relationship uh, which are going to be either straight line or a parabola or a power curve exponential curve all the uh, curves are going to be uh, fitted in this particular fashion in this way only hope you uh, you can easily you can easily follow the remaining topics just i show you uh, what is the how the procedure is con conducted fitting of a second degree parabola you see here this is what the next one uh, this is the second degree parabola is considered yt is equal to a plus bt plus ct square this is what e yt minus a plus bt plus ct square whole square this is error some of the squares of the residuals and then by using the norm, uh, principle of least squares we get the normal equations these are the normal equations summation yt is equal to na plus b summation t plus c summation t square equation 1 summation t y t is equal to a summation t plus b summation t square plus c summation t cube this is second equation third equation summation t square y t is equal to a summation t square plus b summation t cube plus c summation t power 4 by solving these normal equations we get the a b c values with those values of a b c we get the best fit and uh, we can uh, uh, obtain future values if you want to estimate the future values it can be used so this is our second degree parabola method like that uh, we have the kth degree polynomial this is kth degree polynomial y is equal to a naught plus a1 t plus a2 t square plus and so on plus a k power a k into t power k this is for this one for this one also we consider error component and then uh, <clears throat> error component uh, is going to be considered and then it is going to be partially differentiated with respect to a naught a1 a2 and so on a k and then we get the normal equations like this you see you observe here one normal equation that i read out summation y t is equal to n into a naught plus a1 summation t plus a2 summation t square plus and so on plus a k summation t power k multiply in t multiply with t you will get the second normal equation multiply with in, uh, with t square you will get another normal equations like that we will get the k normal equations k plus 1 normal equations i'm sorry k plus 1 normal equations because a naught and a1 a2 a k k parameters a naught is one parameter total k plus 1 parameters therefore k plus 1 normal equations right so like that uh, we have to we can so by solving this we will get the k degree polynomial this is uh, next method fitting of exponential curve we know the exponential curve is y t is equal to a into b power t uh, for any remaining curves exponential curve or, or power curve etc we have to consider logarithms first log y t is equal to log a plus t log b and then you have to convert into a straight line ut is equal to a plus bt this is a straight line remaining procedure is same u is equal to you have to consider log t log yt and log a is equal to you have to consider capital a log b is equal to capital b like that you will get uh, ut is equal to a plus bt the straight line by 
uh, by the method of principle of least squares, the strike line uh, method, the normal equations you can obtain these two summation ut is equal to a and a plus b summation t summation t ut is equal to a summation t plus b summation t square by solving these normal equations we will get capital a and capital b again we have to uh, consider that is uh, calculate small a and small b a is equal to anti log of a b is equal to anti log of b with these values you will get the exponential curve yt is equal to a into b power p similarly y is equal to a into yt is equal to a into e power bt this is another normal another exponential curve another form of the exponential curve for this also we have to consider logarithms and again we have to consider straight line and then uh, we will get some normal equations like this by solving these normal equations we get the values of capital a and capital b and like that the procedure is uh, is going to be obtained in this way and so that uh, the, the remaining values are going to be calculated that is the parameters are going to be calculated the small a and small b again you have to calculate which will be different here a is equal to anti log a b is equal to b by log a to the base 10 so with these values you will get the obtained uh, best fitted exponential curve yt is equal to a into e power bt so another form fitting of power curve power curve is y t is equal to a into e t power b so for which you have again you have to consider logarithms log y t is equal to log a plus b log t like that and so that you have to convert the straight line u t is equal to a plus b v this is capital a this is small b in the power curve this is called semi log exponential curve is double log for two constants we have a logarithms power curve yes <clears throat> okay log y and uh, log x okay right 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 <clears throat> we will see the double log and semi log papers are going to be used uh, i'll tell you log y and uh, t b log t so this is uh, for which power curve we have to use because of the log y and log t the based on these values the for power curve we have to use double log paper for exponential curve we have to use semi log paper like that okay okay leave it and now you see because of the this is a straight line after converting the straight line you have to use the uh, two particular uh, normal equations you have to calculate two normal equations by solving these two normal equations we will get the parameters capital A and small b right so with these values again you have to convert as a small a small b is already obtained so capital a it is to be converted as small a again that is small a is obtained from the capital a a is equal to anti log of a so that uh, obtained these values a and b uh, the parameters estimated values uh, estimated values of a and b you will get the best fit of the given that uh, yt is equal to a into uh, b power uh, t power b a into t power b this is uh, power curve like that we have many number of curves and many number of uh, um, uh, functional mathematical relationships in the uh, in this particular method curve fitting so we use the principle of least squares by the method of principle of least squares we uh, obtain the best fit of the given data by estimating the parameters relevant parameters so this is what the principle of least squares method this is used for identifying obtaining uh, long term fluctuations in the time series data if you understand thank you thank you very much